Ethan! Nico! Here we go, we're off again. I don't know where they are. Nico! I don't know what I should do now, don't I? Yeah. It'll come back, won't it? Open a bag of crystal, turn up. A year ago, one of Britain's greatest ever cricketers started his dream of creating a cricket team. There's no signs, is there, saying no posters? With lads. Nico, get off that bike. Get us kicked no, out. Great right, language. From his hometown of Preston. What's going on here? Get rid of that football. Fucking zoo, this, isn't it? Fact is, you've got to be lucky or privileged to play. Why? That isn't a reflection of society. It's really not. He had no team. Have you played before? No. No. Oh. This is where patience is key. No club. We've almost got the police on speed dial. Probably four or five times a week. And at times, no control. Oi! Seriously, I'm getting pissed off for you. But now, his unlikely bunch of lads have won their first game. Yes! 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 <laughs> Did not see that coming this morning. And found a home. Not quite as I remember it. But they're still a long way from looking like a proper team. It's selling the game, it's showing these kids cricket is, a, is an option for them. And that's my biggest challenge. Good. Really good guy. Freddie's boys have moved into their new unfinished home. Knees up, knees up, knees up. Vernon's Cricket Club in Preston. Yeah, it's good, that's it. They're training for their toughest match yet against a top private school in just three weeks' time. We've oh. got to stop the ball before it hits the white barrier because it's like getting a four. Good Adnan, good hands, Adnan. That's all there is between the game. It can all between two or three runs. Yes, Ben! Go Ben! Yes! Whilst some players are showing real commitment. Oh Ben. That's all right. Others are struggling to stay focused. Same lads messing about, but I think we've come to a point now where sick of saying the same things. They're gonna mess about and not get involved. That's their problem. The lads who are here, you know, they're trying hard and they're improving, and that's, I suppose, that's where we're at now with our cricket. Oh. Me, me and you, Ethan. Oh. Ethan and Sean have both struggled in mainstream school. <laughs> I know I can be a bright kid, but sometimes my behaviour doesn't let me down, and I act a bit of a knob. <laughs> I've got maths dyscalculia, which is basically dyslexia for maths. In school, it pisses me off because they don't do anything to help me. Because I'll just sit there and be like, what am I supposed to do? And they'd be like, do it. I'd be like, but well, how? Oh, Ethan. Ethan, can you come down? Hi. Because you shouldn't be up there. Come on, Ethan. Unfortunately, there is some lads messing about, not getting involved. It is quite infuriating, because like one of the main things about us all like training together and practicing together is because we are a team. The fact that there's some people here who are like trying to get stuck in. It's kind of like kind of bringing a damper down on the entire team. Do you know, do you know what I'm finding? Do you know the lads who have engaged in it and want to play cricket? They're getting better, they're trying harder. Mm. Yeah. But on the flip side, there's lads who turn up, they're not here for cricket, and then they're drifting even further and further yeah. away. It's, it's becoming increasingly more difficult to engage them. They're trying to get us to not mess them out. They're trying to get us to be adults. We're not adults. <laughs> exactly. It's like two groups, isn't it? Yeah, it really. is. It's like, it's like having two teams. We've got this big game coming up and we need them working together as one team. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> and I, I want them showing the best of what they are as lads. Mm. No messing about, no stupid behaviour. Yeah. I want them to win. Freddie also wants to make Vernon's Cricket Club his team's permanent home. Here we go. That's all right, isn't it? Right. It's better, isn't it? Miles better. Six months ago, the pavilion at Vernon's was dated and failing to attract the local community. But Freddie's helped to secure a quarter of a million pounds of funding from the council to renovate and transform it into a club 
that can host events and become self-sufficient. But it feels like one building now. Obviously, when that comes, it'll make it so much bigger and better. Is that your dance floor? Yes. My new dance floor. All right. French down. Bar's come up all right as well, isn't it? There's still so much to do in there. Yeah. Now, we want to get a game on here as soon as we can. Yeah. It's a bit stressful at the minute. To relaunch the new pavilion, Freddie is planning an all-star match in a matter of weeks. But building work is falling behind schedule. What about timings? So timings, we think, well, we thought we were all right up until last week. Um, and then I got an email to tell me that my carpet's in Poland. Oh, no. And it, we've now got a major issue in the furniture. Still not got a delivery date on that. And if we've no furniture, we can't open. So the opening date's been pushed back then, has it? It has, yeah. So, so what are we looking at? Easter Sunday. Glorious sunshine and the yeah. doors will be back open. I hope so. That's the plan. Fingers crossed. Right. Away from training, some of the team are forming friendships. But many have never been part of a sports club before. Something smells good. Oh, Adnan cooking up a storm. <laughs> Adnan is a refugee who has been in the country for just over a year. Oh, 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 I don't like that one. Oh, peeled mango? Try it. <laughs> it's just, like, really sour. I think it's... He lives with his foster parents and is applying for asylum to stay in the UK. Especially when you eat with um, uh, bread, like... That's cool. Yeah. I think Adnan found it very difficult when he arrived to be in a completely different culture to the one he'd come from. He was just overwhelmed by everything that we had. Sit yourself down over there and I'll, I'll put you some out. I think you're quite like this. He said to us the other day that he never imagined that he would ever be able to speak English, to be going to school, to be playing cricket in a country where he was free to do that. Yeah, after Ramadan, I need to stop eating <laughs> rice <laughs> because of my fitness. Oh, I never been in school in Afghanistan. Now I can speak English, but not very well like uh, English people, yes. But I try my hard to learn. It's a typical Afghan dish. Come on, guys, get stuck in. Tell me what you think. That was really good. Go on, then, then. You can cook for <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> so it's now sort of a day off not cooking. <laughs> it must be really hard, like, cooking for yourself every day. Yeah. I hate living by myself. After a period of being homeless, Ben is adjusting to living in his own flat. I moved in a year and a half ago, two years ago. I was very lonely. That was probably, like, the peak of my depression. It was a really bad place for me at the time. Well, have we got a job at the moment? No. Universal credit, unfortunately. Being part of the team, the things I really enjoy about it is, like, the camaraderie and just, like, just being together with other people. But um, don't get me wrong, it still gets lonely here and there. But most of the time, I'm fine. Wow. That was really nice to be able to share this with you. It's lovely. Thank you. My first time trying that Afghan food as well. Yeah? Yeah, never had it before. Good. Um, Good. And, yeah, it's really nice. You know what, I reckon we put Adnan in charge of food that comes to cricket. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's better than what we get. Yeah. <laughs> Not all the boys are embracing the benefits of being part of the team. 15-year-old Sean has left mainstream education. Is he in here? And now studies plumbing at Preston Vocational Centre. The cinema's quiet. He's head down working, I love it. I'm happy as I Good job, that, isn't it? Language, how are you? you all right? Just been watching you, you didn't even lift your head. I was thinking, who is this lad? Lost in his own world, concentrating. So what, what, what are you doing here? I should know this. My, my, dad's, my dad is a plumber. And you don't know it? I, I'll be honest with you, Sean. Grab this. Oh. Come on, then, I'll take it. This, this is like, you know when you play cricket for the first time? Tighten it. Tighten what? It should not be able to slide off. Well, show me. What are you doing? But you've got to keep hold of this. Then you keep hold of that. Oh, I'm not going to have to do for you. I blame the coach. I don't ever blame him. 
What? I don't even blame what? you. I don't blame what? you. No, you don't blame me. I test you, but I don't blame you. Test me? You're one of the biggest tests I've ever had. So where's that going? You pretty well job at that. So, so why is it you come here, you're into this, you're working out? Because it's what I like to do. Plumbing? Yeah. Yeah? Better than doing nothing, isn't it? Definitely. Best in your future, aren't you? What about the cricket? You enjoying the cricket? Yeah. That doesn't sound too enthusiastic. No, I am. No, I am. Yeah. I am. yeah. yeah. But it's coming to the point as well. We need you to front up a bit. We need you to turn up now. When you're on it, you're brilliant. When you're not, you're a nightmare. Oh, I know that. If you know it, why are you doing it to me? Yeah, you enjoy it, don't you? I don't. <laughs> I don't, Sean. If, if you're you under that illusion, you know, get you that out of your head you right now. It, I want an easy life, Sean. I'm just so pleased that I came and saw you doing something. You're right into it. Watching you do this. So is that what I need to do with you at the cricket? Give you more responsibility? Yeah. You fancy that? Yeah. We'll look for that. It's really nice to see him wanting to do something. And when you see him like that, you see him with his head down, you see him working, you see him enthused about what he's doing. You think, well, could we not see a bit more of that? He's a good lad. He just needs engaging. Deep in the Lancashire hills. Thanks for coming. That's all right. Freddie's enlisted a friend of his to help strengthen team bonds. It'd be interesting to see what you make of the lads. He's hoping former Special Forces agent Jason Fox can help unite the team ahead of their next match. I think within the side there's been some, there's been a split or natural cliques, so this, try and bring them all together and reinforce that common goal that we've all got. We'll put the more disruptive ones as team captains. Okay. And they've got to focus on not only motivating themselves and working out strategy, but motivating the rest of the team. I'm not name dropping, because I'm not a twat, but some of us are trying harder than others. And it does take the best. I hope that we all come out of this a bit stronger as a team. And then I hope some of us get their asses kicked into gear. <laughs> all right, lads. Today is about teamwork. We've got a big game coming up against a private school. And today, and I want to see what you've got, both physically, mentally, and how much you're going to throw yourselves into stuff for each other. We've got Jason Fox, ex-Special Forces. So I spent 20 years in the military, did 10 years in the Special Forces. One thing that the Special Forces are good at is they bring people together who are all completely different. They've all got strengths, all got weaknesses, and you learn how to work as a team. What's the matter? What are you talking about? Nothing. Okay, keep your mouth shut when I'm talking then. I'm just asking for you guys to give 110% to yourself. And in turn, that means you're giving it to the rest of your team. The boys will split into groups to complete an obstacle course. Now, your mission is to get that log around this course without touching the floor. But remember, you're in teams. That means you stick together, and that means you need to communicate. First team up, Ben, Hemi, Leon and Sean. Sean, you're in charge, so I want to see some fucking leadership. <laughs> you need to think of a strategy each time you come to a, an obstacle, work out what that is, and then swing into action. Right, so basically, team plan is, we send Hemi to the back. Right. Ben, you're one in front, oh, and I'll on. be the one in front of you. Right, are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! go. Here we go. Back right, up. I've got it. It's fine, I've got it. Go, go, run it. Give me a sec. Let me get to the top. Go on, then, straight into it. Right. Think about this one. Right. I'll help you lift it. From the bottom, Ben. I'm actually really impressed. No, I am as well. And the only thing is, you've got four lads together there who, within the team, wouldn't gravitate towards each other. Yeah. It's amazing. Right. right. Got ben. Help him. Help Help Ben. Help Ben. I got it. Help Ben. Hey, go ben. Get a hand on him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't let it touch the floor. Pick it up. Go on, Ben. Well done, Ben. Well done, Sean. Good lad. Sean's fallen off a few times. No reaction. Straight back in. Sean, six months ago, it'd have been a bit of a performance, it'd have been a whinge. This is the hard bit. <laughs> I've got it, I've got it. The cricket thing. At first, I was like, am I going to know anyone here? Do I want to trust you, do I not? You got it? Yep. It's just a fact. Trust builds all the time. I'll go down. 
it's just better now. I'm getting on with people. I'm not arguing all the time, not kicking off. Come on, then, through the through the tyres. Yes, Sean, go on, look at them feet, Sean. Give Sean the captaincy. Hoping that this will happen. The more the course went on, and more we took responsibility, you know, leading the troops. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Sean. Go on, there you then. go. Good effort. Right, lads. Can I put it down now? Put it down. As a team of lads, we came together quite well. Then. To be fair, Sean, I'm not going to lie. Like, sometimes you do mess about a bit, and it does sometimes get on me fucking nerves. <laughs> oh, I get on everyone's nerves. But to be honest. fair, you've banged it today. You've literally got focus, and you've just done it. Captain Sean. Yeah. <laughs> Did very well then today, Ben. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Right, cheers, Matt. <laughs> come on, oh, sit in. Oh, come on. Get round there. Get round the other side. There we go. Halfway around the course, 18-year-old Josh. Go on. Good well effort, Dylan. Good effort. Cheers, lads. Good man. Not quite built for me this course. Just use me for the strength when we need it. These for the speed and the agility. Like many of the boys on the team, cricket was not Josh's sport of choice. Go on, pal. Give him some support there. Shit it now. Right, Ethan, come down. Passionate about rugby, Josh had to stop playing a few years ago due to an injury. You got it? Go on, Josh. Go on, lad. Come on. Go on, Josh. Come on. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm quite competitive and I don't like losing. I hate losing. You put your feet on that. I've still got ambition to become a rugby player again. It's just the the body's limitations at the moment. Go on, Paul. Yes. No! Oh! Ah! My ankle. Go on. I'll try. I'll try, mate. I'm nowhere near as fit enough as I was. All we want is just you, whatever your best, mate. That's what you're giving us. Can't ask for anything more than that, all right? Encouraging each other. Come on. Good luck. Maybe going back to sport is the only key way to back to, to health and happiness. That's it. Steady away. Well, Josh kept going, wasn't he? Yeah. He was at a disadvantage, but he wasn't going to give up. All right, good effort, lads. Well done, boys. Put the log down, log down. Well done, Pop. Come on, then. So, all up, it was a good effort, a really good effort, because I thought that was going to be an absolute shower of shit, quite frankly, but it wasn't. Well done. And ultimately, what I wanted to see was teamwork, bit of grit and determination, a bit of communication and being there for each other. You all showed me that, so I am impressed. I learned that everyone can give their all on some things when they want to. I've also realised that um, I can't pull Ben up without falling. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, though, Sean, joking aside, I think you made a good point there. That when everyone does give their all, it makes it far much easier for everyone else. So, so we've got one more match to go, playing against this school, and today, was part of the preparations towards that, you know, solidifying that bond between all of you. What I ask for is when we do turn up there, we try 100% in everything we do. We turn up as a team, and I promise you, if we do all that, we cannot lose. I don't mean we can't lose the match, but from where we come from to where we are now, we cannot lose. In this posh school, never fucking seen nothing like us. After today, no way our team spirit dies, because every single one of us saw a different side of each other today. Back in Preston, Adnan is preparing for his upcoming asylum interview at the Home Office. If he's successful, he'll be allowed to stay in the country permanently. When Adnan first arrived, he couldn't speak English at all. But now, of course, he has an ambition to play cricket for England. He's just cricket mad. I love cricket more than everything. When first time I watched cricket on telly, yes, and I said to my first care, uh, I need to play cricket. I hope that Adnan in future will be known as Adnan the cricketer and not Adnan the refugee. To take his mind off the crucial meeting, Freddie's taking Adnan to Old Trafford, the home of Lancashire County cricket. Yeah, I started here when I was nine, Adnan. Oh, wow. Playing the juniors. It was very different then. All right. Yeah, good, thanks. It's where Freddie got his big break and where Adnan dreams of playing. First time I heard about Freddie Ferentov, I watched some videos in uh, YouTube. 
he's quite good all-rounder in his time. And I said, yeah, if I meet them, I need to learn something from him. Adnan's got a chance. He's got natural ability. He's had a limited exposure to cricket. So for him to be so good is a, is a miracle. I hope by coming today, it does show him what is possible. This is when you start getting a bit nervous. Yeah. <laughs> as you're walking out to bat. Even yeah. now, walking out, I had nothing special. Yeah. You know, I wish I could still do it. I wish I could still play. <laughs> what do you think, Adnan? Could be you one day, Adnan, huh? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like a dream. I hope I play one day here. Yeah. I will work more hard, yeah, harder than hard, yeah, to reach this level. Here he is, he's one of the lads I played with, Stephen Parry. All right, Paz? Hey, mate, how you doing? Yeah, good, pal. This is Adnan. Hi, nice to meet you, mate. Yeah, nice right? to meet you, too. Adnan's part of the team that I've got in Preston. Yeah. How's it been going? On the whole, the kids are good, but they do have the moments, there's a few who yeah. challenge me. But Adnan, I'm not going to embarrass him, but he's me. He's either one. He's my star player, <laughs> he's, he's my secret weapon, Adnan. When did you first fall in love with cricket? Back off in Afghanistan, yeah. I played with piece of wood. It was very short and small. And when I first getting the like bat, I said, "Oh, it's bigger now with this bat. Easy then." Yeah. That, yeah. Well, I wish I found it that easy with a bat. <laughs> <laughs> but we got a couple of issues with him. Yeah. With his asylum application, so he's got. You got an interview next week, haven't you? Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. If that all goes well, then he can come down here because he's got a chance. Yeah. He's got a chance. You know, when you love something, like I love cricket, it's not like for me just sport. It's for me everything. That's why, like, when I, now when I came here, make me feel happy and uh, make me more determined. Yeah. What do I need to do uh, more to reach this level, like? It's just hard work, Adnan. not Practice hard. Yeah. Practice as hard as you can and it makes playing easier. Yeah. I'd love to sit here and watch you walking out there. <laughs> and the only thing, uh, I just make me a little bit sad, my asylum. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, I wish my asylum done, yeah, and should I play for. Yeah. Fingers crossed we get that done. Yeah. Come on, shall we? Oh, bad man, he's an asylum seeker. He's seeking asylum in this country. He's waited to be given the yes. Oh, for Adnan, it must be such a way. He's had so much he's dealt with in his young life so far. Thank you. He just needs a chance. So hopefully we get them papers and then he can try and fulfil his dreams. It's the day of Adnan's asylum hearing to decide whether he can stay in the UK. Oh, gosh, I'm feeling quite nervous. I feel quite sick, actually, in the pit of my stomach. Um, I always get like this when I'm nervous. Adnan means a lot to both Barry and myself. I'm feeling very apprehensive about it. Yeah, we should say it's a big interview. <laughs> yeah. There are some question you need to say yes or no, some question you need to give him answer like by explanation. Yeah, like this. Right, go and get your stuff and we'll get ourselves going, okay? Yeah. We've been explained by the solicitor that he will be interviewed and I'll go over his witness statement, which he's already made. Um, I presume that they'll be trying to, um, I wouldn't say catch him out exactly, but they'll be trying to confirm that the statement he gave to his solicitor is accurate and that it's the same story that he's telling today. Adnan? Yeah? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, just I need to put my shoes on. His whole future could be determined today. OK, let's go. Six hours later, and Adnan's asylum hearing is over. But it's not the news they were hoping for. So he's not got asylum yet, so we'll have to wait a couple of weeks before we have a decision either way. 
Adnan's very stressed out, very upset. He feels that um, he's having to go back over everything again and again and again. His words were repeat, repeat, repeat. And I think he's finding it very difficult. I'm shaky. I'm a little bit anxious. I think as any mother, you feel that. You always want to put things right for your kids. And I feel that he is my kid at the moment, certainly. So I don't want to just put things right for him. Um, I really do hope he doesn't have to go through this again because I just don't think his mental health will stand it. Back in Preston, the boys are making their final preparations for their toughest match so far. Here we play. Dunstone? Denstone? Dun it's one of them. It's also a chance to check out the opposition. Yeah. Oh, my God! It, it truly is Hogwarts, but with sport pitches. Look at this. <laughs> All right, hang on, so we've got tennis. We've got rugby. Oh, well. got a golf course somewhere. Oh, my. <laughs> we said that cricket was posh, so he's taken us to a posh place to play cricket. How much does it matter to you if you win or not? I have to win. It's just a game. This is Think about it as just a game Finn. or just practice. This isn't just a game. We need to win this next match because I've put, we've all put six months into this. We've just got to work as a team. If we work as a team, then we've got a higher chance of winning. Oh, yeah, I'll do. Yeah, I'm ready, me. I've only had four sleep because I'm excited to play here. Yeah. So it's ready to go. The keen, aren't they? I'm out over there. Look at him, he's got his full whites on. They're very smart as well, do they? By the time you tear off. <laughs> <laughs> Set in a hundred acres of Staffordshire countryside, Denston College has been a leading public school for almost 150 years. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God, look at the building. It looks absolutely amazing. I can't believe what it looks like. It's massive. It's home to 750 day and boarding pupils, with former students including several first-class cricketers. Good golly gosh. <laughs> We're playing some cricket today. <laughs> 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 These lot are going to have a treat when they see me. Why are they wearing blazers for? What are you wearing a blazer for, man? Are you ready, one? Morning. Are you, you all right, I'm Fred? Hi, welcome to the college. Thanks very much. Thanks for having us. Cheers, mate. You all right? How are you, boys? Hi, welcome to the college. It's nice here, isn't it? Huh? It is very nice. Unbelievable. Posh as fuck. That building is posh as fuck. There's a sense that I don't feel like I fit in here, weirdly. Everyone's wearing the blazers, everyone's trying to look smart. What's it? I'm here in my sliders. Uh, Denson's celebrating its 150th anniversary next year. We have boarding houses to the top left and the top right. Uh, Denson's got a really friendly atmosphere, cos we're on a campus, so you bump into your mates between lessons. <laughs> And then we all play sport together in the afternoon. That's the dining hall up there. Yeah. Uh, there's a chapel over on the other side. Have you got one of them, like, really fancy rooms where like, you speak to Pulp and confess about your sins? <laughs> you, you, who's going to be straight I, 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 in there? I need, I need a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you can just see some tennis courts. There's another cricket pitch down here. A hockey Astro. I love how I was just saying all this casually, but... Um, yeah, we've got this. Yeah. <laughs> we've got five tennis things. courts. Growing up, for me playing, um, I just went to school on the estate. And I remember turning up at all the posh schools, like Harrow and all these places. <laughs> I used to like the fact I wasn't like them. You know, I'd turn up, my kit wasn't as good as anyone else's. A pair of gloves with holes in. You know, we turned up in my dad's cortina. You know? Yeah, but then you know, my background made me more determined. It really did. This is the dining hall. The portraits are our headmasters over the years. Our first head is that one there. We would never have anything like this at our schools. 
It's very fancy. Coming to a place like this for the first time is different. You know, it's outside the comfort zone a little bit. But I want them to flourish in that environment. Because as you go through life, I find you're always outside your comfort zone. It's how you adapt. Evening, lads. Can you hear me? Yeah. Give us a bingo call, that lad. <laughs> Eight and four. Eighty-four. <laughs> <laughs> Money's nothing. If they're sound kids, I get along with them. I'm really not bothered. I wouldn't say I'd like to go to this. <laughs> I'm happy enough being in college, doing my plumbing. Well, I don't think you'd be able to do plumbing here. <laughs> Today, it's not about class, it's about cricket. You just got to play it like it's a normal game. I think it's the same in any sport. You don't really care where they come from, it's just about playing the game. Just having the opportunity to play here is an honour itself, but if I won, it, it would just make it feel like all the effort I've put in and stuff, it would make it feel like it's really worth it. Tell us it is. We'll have a ball fest. How's everyone feeling? Excited. Com yeah? yeah? Yeah, Good. It's <laughs> everything we've learned over these past ten months, we've chipped away that we've improved, we've improved, we've improved. We've come closer as a team. And all I ask today is one, you go out there, show off what you can do. There'll be times in this game where it's not going your way. And that's the time you need to get behind each other. You know, obviously we are trying to win. But just concentrate on what you're doing and your performance. I'd enjoy it more if we won. Me too. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, good luck, lads. We're going to win this. Let's put these people in their place, all right? <laughs> Here we go, we're starting. Let's go, the boys. Like a cold spring there, isn't he? Ready to jump into action. They're bloody tall, every single one of them. But, you know, it's not about the height, is it? I've got a f feeling that we might be able to do this. There's nothing stopping us, really. Never say never. Stepping up to bowl, 18-year-old Ben. Go on, Ben! Oh! Lucky Ben! I'm pissed off. Gave him a four. Before joining the team, Ben had never played cricket. Cricket has helped me a lot with me mental state and stuff like that. A year and a half ago now, uh, I was sleeping on the streets, getting fights constantly. Like, don't let them bowlers get to your head, OK? Yeah. Because when, when they start to go to your head, you won't bowl well. Yeah. So back yourself. Being part of the team, it kind of uh, like got, it got me out of bed in the morning. It, like, it was always something to look forward to as well. Don't think about it, but enjoy it, yeah? Yeah. Yes, Ben. <laughs> and I'm glad I was able to turn myself around. Otherwise, who knows where I'd be. Go on, Ben! Let's go, Ben! Well, Ben! Good ball, Ben. Good lad, Ben. I actually have fallen in love with the sport of cricket now. The opposition have made a strong start. It's looking good for a good total. Aim for about 200, I reckon. It's a good score on here. Go, boys, give me one. But Freddy's boys aren't giving up. <laughs> Get him running, who's that lad? Bounded onto the ground, Sean. Come on, Sean! Yes, Sean. Oh, Sean! And to be honest, I think Freddie's done a decent job. Go on, Sean, you got this, pal. I respect him for what he's done in it. He could be out here training a professional cricket team, but he said he's chose to train people that haven't played the sport before. We've all improved massively. Go on, Sean! I was not expecting something like that. Despite the underdog's best efforts. Catch, 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 catch! Oh. The Denston side continue to rack up the runs. Go, go, go. And finish the first innings with an impressive 171 runs. Hello, boys. boys. Well, done, well done, pal. Well done, man. Well done, Sean. Yeah, I'm proud of you today, man. You got it's stuck in, man. <laughs> mate, you've got proper stuck in. I love to see it, mate, honestly. <laughs> Well, boy, mate, enjoy that. I'm very tiring. It's good, though. I'm feeling confident that we've got, still got a chance to win, come back into the game. We heard that they've played minimal cricket, but I think the main point that we've all noticed is that their commitment to the game has been absolutely immaculate. That first half was tough, wasn't it? You know, they scored a few more runs than we'd have liked them to. So going into this now, you know, it's a tough ask for chasing 170. We'll just go out there, it gives yourselves a chance. 
it's easily achievable to catch them all. Easily. Also, lads, don't forget, these are probably the best team we've gone against yet. Yeah. But don't forget, this is the best we've been, honestly. We we'll smash that score. Yeah. Enjoy yourselves, hit the ball, yeah. and support each other. Come on, boys. Come on, lads. Come on, Josh. Oh. All sorts of spin on that ball. That's Quicker well. than what you're used to as well. Yeah, I couldn't get anywhere near it. One ball, and I've seen one wicket. It's, we're not on a very good percentage right now. Up against Denston's fast bowlers, Freddie's boys' inexperience is showing. Their bowler is absolutely destroying us. <laughs> Runs are few and far between. Let me bit it off a bit more than we can chew. And closing the gap is looking beyond reach. Fuck off. Oh, no! Oh, oh he's fuming. Shit. No, you, mate, you banged it. Oi, come on, man. I'm sure we can pull this back. Gonna get a six million or... I hope so. We do like the confidence. Go on, Dylan, lad! Go on, lad! Never really been into sports in my life. Playing them or watching them. I don't really do much. I just chill on my computer, play some games here and there. I'm not a sporty guy. I tried snooker with my dad, I tried golf. I don't like any of it. I finally tried cricket and I'm like, I'll tell you what, it's the new best thing, really. I absolutely love it. Yes, Dylan. Hey, hey. Run, 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 run. Come on, lads. Come on, come on. Look for two, 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 two. Despite the majority of the boys having never played cricket a matter of months ago, they're starting to make up ground. Pick them runs up, yeah? We're slowly getting there. Oh. If we push, there's a potential. You know, if six months ago someone had said, this is where we'd be now, one of the country's top private schools, older facilities. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Holding our own and competing against them. Oh, up. I wouldn't have believed anyone saying that. Yeah. It was an ambition and it was the hope, but <laughs> at times no signs would be able to do this. So it's a credit we're here doing this. And you've always got a chance. Go on, Faisal, lad. Go on. Oh, good it! He's fumbled it. He's fumbled it. It's an impressive final push. Oh! Good it! It's not going, it's not going. Well done, Matt! No, it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> but not enough. Is that it? Well done, boys. To win the match. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I am upset we didn't win. But from what I've seen today, it goes beyond actually winning a game of cricket. I think sometimes, especially in English sport, you always look for positives, and there aren't any. But I genuinely believe that today has shown what cricket can do. I reckon we've done really well, because these guys, they've done it for a lot longer than us. It is upsetting, it's disappointing, but losing our game against a really good team isn't going to discourage me from playing again. Here we go. We've only been playing it for 10 months, so just got to keep our heads up, keep moving forward. Who knows what we could do in another 10 months. Oh, no, <laughs> Come, get comfy. Um, I think as a kid growing up, I went to a very different school to this, and you have preconceived ideas. And today, it's shown that a game such as cricket can break down anything. You know, we're just a group of lads. We're not defined by our postcode. We're defined at how we act as people. And all these words that you can talk about, inclusion, togetherness, and dedication. And over the past few months, I've seen it in a team that I've had the privilege of coaching and helping. Seeing you now, sat having had a game of cricket, we didn't win. But the one thing that hit home for me today was how we stuck together. We kept giving 100%. From what I've done through my career, you lads are one of my greatest achievements. And I want to thank you for that. You know, it's given me a lease of life, seeing the enjoyment you've taken out of a game, which has given me so much. It does really mean a lot. Cheers, boys.
Freddy and his boys have one final challenge. So it's great that the, the building, building work is almost complete. It's been hard work, but I think that makes us feel a little bit more grateful for how good it looks now. After months of hard work and thousands of pounds, there's a frantic last-minute push to get Vernon's Cricket Club open for the big day Freddie has planned. It's Fred Flint off here. The reason for the call is um, I'm after a bit of help, really. He's organising a big match. I'm being really cheeky here, and I've, I've got a list of people I'm going to call in on here. And is inviting some of his former teammates to play against him and the boys. It's about kids playing cricket and kids who won't get a chance of playing in and around Preston. So, do you fancy getting involved? <laughs> if the local community can be persuaded to turn up... Hello. Oh, you all right? You all right? There's a good chance of putting Vernon's back on the map. Hello, sir. Are you OK if we put so, uh, a poster up on the, uh, on the glass window to promote an open day for That's some open. cricket thing? So we're handing out flyers to some local community of the cricket club, uh, offering if they want to come down and uh, enjoy the fun day just as much as us. Freddie 11 versus England Legends. All right, OK. Uh, with uh, Freddie Flintoff will be there and uh, a few of his old uh, cricket friends that he said. Yeah, no, by all means, put a poster in the window. All right, thank you very much. What is he like? Have you met him? Yeah, he's absolutely amazing. Is he really? Just like you see in Montelli. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. See you later. Cheers, pal. Cheers. Bye-bye. Oh, Thank you. Go on, buddy. Come in. Get me to exercise today, and I've only just walked on. I'm going to go that way. This one's going to go that way. OK, so two or three on each one. Oh, my God. Today, the newly refurbished Vernon's will be opening its doors to the public. It's so important that today runs smoothly. This is our opportunity to showcase a new club. And the boys are going up against former professional players. Is it you are scared or is it...? No, 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 I'm not scared of <laughs> no one. I'm going to get some wickets today, I'm telling you. But if I don't get wickets, if I'm batting, definitely put some runs on the board. And uh, I just want to be beating them. It's nice today. And um, I suppose it... It's a celebration, isn't it, of what, what's happened over the past nearly a year now. There's a real buzz around the place and everyone's got jobs, people are volunteering. So we need holes, putting all the triangles, and then it's threading through. Sean and Ethan making the bunting that goes around. I'm not sure they knew what bunting was, did they? What is nice as well, some of the parents and families have come down and they've brought food, they've cooked. And so that's lovely, you know, they feel a part of it and that's so important. Everyone's coming together and that's what a cricket club is, or a sports club. That's what we wanted. I just hope the club have a good day as well. Loads of people turn up and hopefully sign a few new members as well. So, Oi, yeah, it should be nice. There. What? I'm not in there, honestly. Oh, bro, please. Uh, no, there's no screws, there's nothing. They did it on purpose. They did it on purpose. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no, I give up. <laughs> get this. Right, get this top bit strapped on. And then that's secure. You have to lift it and get the legs in and lift it at the same time. She's not having it today, though, and you can see she's flustered. She all the butt pushing I've been eating seven o'clock. Why have you been eating seven o'clock? But do you think this stuff's not towards itself about? I don't need you coming in and wrecking it. <laughs> it's nice to see someone else getting the run around. <laughs> Where are we moving it to? Over over here. It's been a long year. <laughs> and here we are last day. It's been really, really enjoyable. In a way, it's pretty sad that it's all it's ending. All... You know, it had its challenges, but, you know, looking back, if we think to where, you know, that first session of the trials... Oh, know, that tryout when there were just balls going everywhere, exactly. weren't there? And, like, now, you know, they're, they're pretty confident now of playing a game of cricket. Oh, that nod. My worry was, once we all left, is that there'd be something moving forward, and if the Bulkham have joined here, the part of something, They've met some mates, there's so mm. somewhere they can go. So from that front, it, it's worked. Today, hopefully the local community will come out and watch this game that we're putting on. I've got to say, though, I've not played for years, <laughs> I'm actually nervous. really nervous. <laughs>
Just don't drop any catches off. I, I won't drop a catch. <laughs> Coming out of retirement to take on Freddie and his boys, former England legends. A current Lancashire captain and ex-England captain, Michael Vaughan. You know, I was, I was there at the beginning at tryouts when the kids came out. They were some very raw kids, knew nothing about the game, nowhere. They didn't even know how to bowl, how to hold a bat. And hopefully we'll see today the progression that they've made during the, the, the months. When I heard about Freddie's plan to uh, try to achieve a cricket team from people that have never played the game, I thought, you know what, typical Freddie. Always thinking that he can achieve the impossible. And now they're going to take down a, a, a Legends eleven. Let's see. And taking the pill soon will be Freddie's first 11. Right, thank you. Thank you. And now the two umpires. Amar. Oh. Amar, oh. oh. round edge. Oh, I'm really nervous at the moment. I've, I've, I've not, there's such a big crowd, pressure's on. Need to be focused, need to stay focused. Opening the batting for the opposition. Hello, mate. How are you? Good, thanks. Good luck. Cheers. Michael Vaughan with 82 test matches under his belt. I didn't realise there was going to be people, people watching. I've retired from cricket. This is the only time you'll see me, I think, with a bat and a pair of gloves. Have a ball at Vaughan. First to face him, Adnan, self-taught on the streets of Afghanistan. Go on, Adnan! Go on, Adnan! I feel nervous, but when I ball, yeah, I said, play and have fun. He's bowling at, like, one of England's best ever captains. It's, it's nice, it's lovely. Good luck. Oh, nice, Adnan. Lovely stuff. Go on, Adnan. Badnam will be absolutely chuffed to bits that he's bowled to an ex England captain, that's for sure. Oh, that man. I'm really happy for him. I think it's been the best thing he could have done. I really do. It's brought him out of himself. It's made him realise that actually he does have ability, he does have um, something to offer. Well done, Adnan. Adnan's interested, you know, self taught bowler. And let me tell you, the boy can bowl. There's some talent there. Catch, catch, catch out! Yes! yes. Oh, there you go, you got an England captain out. <laughs> well done, well done, man. I see out the back of the Nice. Overrated by a one. Matt's just got one of England's finest ever captains out and batsmen. Yeah. Hey, well, take that, Matt. <laughs> when he came up with this idea, Fred, and he thought about it, I said, you've got absolutely no chance at making anyone be, well, look anything like a cricketer, especially if you've only been playing. It takes, like, years to be good at this game. Somehow he's done it pretty quickly, which is annoying because he'll be smug about it as well. <laughs> They're not bad. Left arm is good. Very good. Freddie may have unearthed a potential pro cricketer, but his mission has been to inspire a passion for the game at all levels. Oh, nice, Dylan. Go, on. Go Dylan. He loves it, absolutely loves it. This time last year, I never, ever thought that he'd be doing this at all. I think he would have just been sitting at home on his laptop and messing around with games and things like that. He's doing really well, bless him. Oh. Oh. Dylan's never really got involved in sport, but he's definitely found that passion uh, for, for cricket. You know, he's gone and bought his own wicket keeper gloves, and I think he will join the cricket club. Oh, jeez. I did say to him, he said, if you join us, I might join with you. From a father's some point of view, that'd be quite special. Next to bowl, Amar. Good in Amar. Facing Rob Key, retired with over a thousand runs for his county and director of English men's cricket. No pressure. 
You get keys out, you'll make me so happy as well. Catch! Yeah! That was under pressure then. Rob Key out, caught by Andrew Flinton. <laughs> Amar's wicket ends the first innings with the legends on 163 runs. I did say, like, if I get a wicket, I'm going to remember it for the rest of my life, um, which is the case now. Um, I think I got the England, England's director out, um, so I'm buzzing. Leading his team into bat. Andrew Flinter. One of the best batsmen in England's history. He retired from the game 12 years ago. You know what? I'm not even going to lie about this. I'm nervous. My intentions before this game was to have a practice. I'm not the first time I picked a bat up. Here he is. Come on, then. Best ball, boys. Thanks, Come on. Oh, I'm on here. <laughs> He's facing the mighty arm of former England spin bowler Monty Panesar. Oh, here he is. After 10 years, you haven't faced me. I'm shitting myself. Oh, oh it's just a massive text. Massive. Put it to one on the head, that. Oh, is it another sex? Edge! Behind the window, it's ready. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Stop him. He's not catching yeah. that. Not a chance. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another six runs to Andrew Pinter. This is just absolutely fantastic. I mean, that is just ridiculous. If a twelfth of them come back and have a pint, you know, we've doubled our social membership. <laughs> <laughs> There may be some people here that have never sat and watched a cricket match, and actually all it took was, you know, was this to happen for them to go, actually, we can go and sit at Vernon's and we can have a drink and we can oh, have something to eat, easy. and we can watch the cricket that's going on, uh, you know, and get a bit more support for our local team. This feels like it is a new beginning for Vernon's. It's breathing the life back into Vernon's, which is what it needed. This is where the future begins. Ready, boy. We'll find you quick, Ben. Next into bat, 18-year-old Ben. Go on, Ben. I hope I can break everyone's expectations of what I can do. Oh, yes, 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 Ben! Good Ben! Shot on the day. Yes, Ben! Hey, Ben, that's a proper cricket shot. Got some, some points on board. Quite proud of it. Oh, yes, Adnan. The standard's good. With hard work, perseverance, um, you can achieve anything, and, and they're showing that here today. Is that um, nice? <laughs> Freddie's not one for boasting or anything like that, but I think inside he'll be pretty proud of his achievement. Some of these lads have had really, really hard lives, and um, hopefully with this great game of ours, cricket, hopefully um, it will change a few. The opposition claim victory. But for Freddie's boys, it's been a day to remember. Hey, so you told your, your, your children about it, and they tell their children, oh, your granddad played with all these people. Yeah. I think Ben's got an awful lot out of it. He tells us all the time how much he's loving it. It's been really good for his confidence as well. Just seeing him smile a bit more, I mean, that's been really, really great. He's such a fantastic lad. Here he is. I think what Freddie's done is brilliant. It just shows that cricket's a game for everyone. It is. It'd be so good if we can get back clubs like this, like they've done here and all around the country. This is exactly where everyone starts. You don't start off at the big grounds, you don't start off at the Oval or Lords, you start off at places like this. This is where the next generation will all fall in love with the game, and this is where it gets you hooked. And we have to make sure that this is a game for everyone and it's accessible for everyone. This is why it's so important. Have you got one, vegetarian? Yeah, I'll just go for the vegetarian. <laughs> when the idea came about, it was a very different thing to what we've ended up doing. The initial thing was we'll try and find a cricketer or we'll try and... And cricket realised, actually, lives are more important. <laughs> <laughs> you put onto it there, yeah. mate, you banged it. Yeah. I'm not a do-gooder, not one of them. But it's just about spending time with people, getting to know them, investing in them. And 
I've enjoyed doing that with this lad, these lads. Freddie's hoping the boys become permanent members of the club. Lads, I want to say thank you so much to each and every one of you for sticking with it and coming back and playing and practising and turning up and your enthusiasm. And I'm so proud of you all, I really am. And it'd be nice to keep coming back when I'm in Preston and catching up with a few of you at the club and in the bar and seeing you play cricket. I genuinely feel a part of your lives now and I want to continue that. You're an absolute delight. Personally, coming here with all you lot, like, it's honestly a highlight of my week every week. And it's the one thing I look forward to every single week without fail. So I thank you, everyone, just for like, being part of that. Thank you. Seriously, I, I, when I started, I, I had an idea of what this could do, but I had no idea that it could do so much. I was promise you, Benny, even that, it meant me a lot of mixed emotions. <laughs> I should say, like, I will miss every mo every single moment. We are not played as a team, we played like a family, look after each other. It's quite a dysfunctional family at times. <laughs> <laughs> when I first started this, I didn't really, well, I thought cricket, what, what a crap sport that is. Why, why would I want to do that? Starting doing this has put me on a journey where I didn't even think I'd be able to be where I am today. I've lost about 30 kilos and I've got a job, hopefully. It, it's just amazing being around you lot, really. That's all I can really say. You know, you've all been outside your comfort zone. You've done things for the first time you've never done before. If there's one lesson you can learn is whatever situation you go into for the rest of your life, you can handle. But everyone here, just keep believing, keep pushing, keep improving. And you can all be anything. Thank you so much, boys. Thank you so much. I've learned so many things. I've seen a different side to cricket, and it's not professional, and it's not representing your country or your county or earning loads of money out of it. I've seen the real thing it can do, which is far more important. I'm not saying I want to do a series two, 